Ahead of the release of Deadpool and Wolverine, we got brand new details on the social media reaction and the review embargo and when exactly both are set to expire so we can get the reactions and the reviews. So when we found out that the early screenings are happening so close to the film's international release, it made a lot of people nervous. But naturally, we know that Marvel Studios is trying to keep spoilers away from everybody. So it's not surprising that we're now finding out the official times that uh, the reviews and impressions will drop. So first and foremost, the reaction embargo will lift on July 22nd at 7 p.m. 10 p.m. Eastern Time. This obviously makes this very close to the film's release. I mean, it's the 22nd, so it's a Monday in the United States, Monday night. And then that leads us to talk about Tuesday. Tuesday, July 23rd at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Now, this, of course, is one day ahead of the first screenings, literally like 24 or 25 hours ahead of the first international screenings or they're happening right around there and then the United States one's about 48 hours so you know just look at your clock and this isn't too um, weird or anything like that it's exactly I think what most people expected the only weird part to me is the fact that it's hitting at 6 p.m. Eastern because typically it's been between 9 to 12 Eastern time but again, who knows why they're doing this? And I think they realize that spoilers are going to hit regardless of what they do. And uh, the way that they're handling this, I honestly think is smart. It's giving people nothing besides maybe a 24 to 36 hour window if they want to stay off of the internet to be able to, well, see everything. Like I said, that wednesday or probably even tuesday night that's when i'm going on full blackout from uh the moment the reviews start hitting like i will look at them do the review roundup and that's about it and then nothing more for me i think most of you are probably going to do the same thing or just um avoid the big websites and trades because you're in for spoilers i think we already know that by now and seeing how marvel has treated the last trailer where they didn't even bother with like what two spoilers maybe in there i, I think you know a lot of people are already getting pissed, but it is what it is. Uh, obviously, if they're comfortable spoiling it or just putting it out there, it's not considered a spoiler to them because there's a lot more. And certainly we've heard that from everybody in the film. So, you know, um, decide when you're going to go on blackout or if you're going to at all. <laughs> 